Uh, hey, uh, does anybody get water for right. sure? Yeah, get some. Okay. Hurry up. Hey everybody and welcome back to CATS, C-A-T-S. C-A-T-S. Contemporary Art Talk Show. Contemporary Art Talk Show. Okay, we're going to do things a little differently today. We have with us a special guest, Andy Young. The third wheel here. Welcome. No. No, we want him here. Welcome Andy to the show. Thanks guys. Uh, we prepared a list of questions. The first is, thanks. Thanks for asking us to come here to talk about your work. What did you want to ask us? So is this really, this is it? Yeah, this is it. This is how we do things. Just some old, dirty green sheets that Jade brought mm -hmm. mm -hmm. tacked on the wall. And then we'll... We'll uh, critique your work, because this is all, this is a solo show kind of idea. Right. It's just Andy's work. Normally we do three or four artists. Today, we're uh, just doing one, one artist. artist Three works, the works will flash behind us, where we can talk about it. Did you have any uh, specific questions for us? Uh, we read your email. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of us and talking about your work. Yeah, sure. Okay, moving right along. Um, here is work number one. Uh, it's got some purple uh, clown here going around with a spider web and a stuffed animal, perhaps from Andy's youth. And, and this kind of reminds me a little bit of Dali. It's got kind of a Dali feel to melt the clock. Dali. A little bit yeah. of Dali. I do like the Dali. Dali and you know clowns like you were saying with the, with the purple. So I like this one. I'll just say that right off with you here. It kind of goes a little further than before. Normally I'd say I like it, but it's kind of nice where you can hear that I like this one. Thank so, you. Okay, before we go. I like Dali. Yeah. Dali. Before we get too far in this, we not use words like like. Let's talk about overlap, shape, form, texture, um, scale. So Andy, question number two, what do you call your style of art? Well, idiot savant comes to mind, but I don't really like to call my have my art have a style really, but one way of thinking that I kind of think applies to the way I work is uh, heuristics, which is a kind of a, a, a Way of problem solving that involves uh, stereotyping, uh, rule of thumb, uh, common sense, uh, and it's just the way that uh, I approach the work. So I don't really have a style that's that's a maybe a descriptive that can okay. Get wow. Into the I was thinking uh, I was thinking a good term for Montessori formalism. Oh. Okay. So it's like youth, youth and playfulness. Uh, question number three: Did you ever dream of you know growing up? Getting married and buying a house, having kids, and maybe making some grown up art? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so I guess uh, if I grew up, would my art kind of already make grown up art? But I mean, then you're kind of your grammar's a word done Okay, I think you might just figure it. Cause it well, is, and now I feel like I'm under attack. No, no you did nothing wrong. Who needs to understand when people look at this, they think a child made it. Okay, flashing on screen now is painting number two. I chose the order. I think this one actually um, does have the Montessori formalism because it's it's got burlap, it's got uh, a Native American um, ladle hanging off the side of it. It looks like an M for I made this myself. That's that's it. That's right. Uh, this one is okay. The first one blew me away. This one, it's good. Okay. Great photos, by the way. You know, okay. like, uh, great photos. What is that? What is that? Okay, so, uh, question number four. Do people ever tell you that they like your... What is this? Cream. Yeah, I don't know. This is a hot pepper. No, it's not. You're supposed to season your food with this. Good. All right. Oh, man. Do people ever tell you that they like your art? This is very hot. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that they like this? Well, rarely. Besides me. Rarely. Yeah, you just did, but rarely. Oh, wow. Have you ever, uh, you ever applied a gold wine powder to your areas? No. Oh. Never done that. Some people have, have, have mentioned that to me, that it's, uh, there's a little tingle there. And that's the way my heart makes it. <coughs> this is very hot. What is your favorite Jacques Derrida book about postmodernism? Um, who's that? It's a little specific. Ooh, Jacques Derrida. Oh. For those of you who are not familiar, 
The term postmodern was used around the 1870s. John Watkins Chapman suggested a postmodern. This is really hot. Yeah, it's really hot. Style of painting as a way to move beyond French Impressionism. Have you moved beyond French Impressionism? Um, not enjoying the snack. I've probably moved, um, I've probably regressed before Impressionism. Impression. I want to thank you for bringing me to the home garden. I want to make sure you know I appreciate it. You're welcome. It's from the heart. Yeah. Um, you know, back to Derrida, I'll hear, hear it for sure. Back to Derrida, I, um, I think probably my favorite would be his, um, his greatest hits, Live Red Rock Volume 1. Alright. Fair enough. Can you read the next one? Yeah. Oh, tear up. What is this? What's the next one? What gives you the right to be playful all the time with all the suffering in the world? Like, you know, even here locally is Chirac. And then here you're getting playful with your art, but... Do you know how many people got shot on 4th of July in Chicago, or in Chirac? For you to show these images on screen, which is basically you, you're not taking into consideration all the pain in this world. Uh, I'll give you the right to ask me that question. That's a good response. Thanks for that. Yeah. When you blow out your birthday candles, what do you wish for? The right to be playful. Mm. I'm kind of sweating. So it's never going to happen now because he's mm -hmm. jealous. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. I hear you are a football fanatic. Do you wear a helmet when you paint? <laughs> well, I don't want to paint. I create. But yes, I do too. This is not what this. All right. Painting number three. Let's have a light source coming from behind it. I don't get the narrative. It looks like. Wait, do you actually have a light behind that one? That's great. Yeah. Okay. This applies to my next question. When you have another art show, you should hang your work at 18 inches so the kids can see it and the adults will. Oh, yeah, and especially the little dangle. Kids can hit the dangle. Is that so? Uh, true. Uh, be close to the plug, too. It's like a nightlight. So your private areas are closer to the plug? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't, that's not what I was saying at all. Uh, um, okay, so in summary, uh, I like the first painting because it looks like Montessori and teaching yourself how to pour a glass of water is kind of like teaching yourself how to glue purple hair around the painting. So give that one a thumbs up. Number two is too formal for me, um, and I give that one a thumbs down. I think there could have been more Native American ladles. Uh, what do you think? Could have been more uh, American ladles on that one. Um, thank you. So thumbs down on that one. Okay. And then the third one. I might throw up. <laughs> I might throw up. He doesn't even appear to be affected at all. His childlike sensibility allows him to eat jalapeno peppers. I like the third one. I'm gonna so many well, they're pretty good, you know. I'm, I'm glad you had us, uh, you emailed us to uh, ask us to come on. Yeah. And gave us, you know, the chance to see your work. Yeah, I thought you deserved that, that access. Right. It would be neat to see you in like a year and then see how you improve on this some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think we've given you a lot of uh, fodder to think about, and we're interested to see the direction you take your art. Great. Thank you. Yeah, what? No, no, these guys, I, I don't know what I'm doing. These guys are so stupid. It's the worst show I've ever been a part of. I don't really, I don't know how this is going to turn out. What's that? Cats. C-A-T-S. C-A-T-S.